What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua. Get this. We know Anthony Joshua has said that many people, the critics, the haters, the dictators, bars, has accused him of being a bodybuilder, and therefore it forced him to fight different against Alexander Usyk. But we know now who that was. Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Anthony Joshua admits that Tyson Fury's jive forced him to a di disastrous tactical change. Wow. <laughs> Joshua has admitted that Fury branded him a big, stiff bodybuilder and was taken to heart before his matchup against Alexander Usyk, which led him to try to outbox the Ukrainian. Anthony Joshua has admitted, <clears throat> of course, of this. He says AJ was outboxed by Usyk, which was true, in a thrilling affair last September, which led to the loss of his unified heavyweight titles for a second time. The British star faced heavyweight criticism for his tactical approach, where he failed to use his significant size advantage and was focused on pro proving he was able to outbox the Ukrainian. However, Joshua has now vowed to win the rematch and rekindle his road to undisputed title clash after his tactical blunder. Wow. Um, <laughs> let me counterpunch and let me stop right there because there's no need to continue. All right. Um, it's safe to say that was the dumbest shit that he could ever done. One, it showed mental weakness. Two, that mental weakness showed uh, insecureness, okay? And third, it showed lack of confidence, all right? Lack of confidence. Because you're looking at a fighter that is re received to be one of the best fighters in the world. Why would you care what another rival fighter thinks of you? Well, obviously you do. Because if you allow Tyson Fury to get under your skin or get in your brain to the to the point where, okay, I'm going to prove that guy wrong because that affected me from his walker, his mouth, that much, that means that man had me mentally unfree. Bars. <laughs> but if you look at Anthony Joshua, you can tell he was trying to do something that wasn't working. I looked at that fight. I saw it at least a half a dozen times, if not more. And what I figured out, I'm like, Joshua was doing the same shit. In spurts, he would try to do what we are, are used to him doing, but only in spurts, not consistently, not to the point where you think he's going to win this sucker. Mm -mm. None of that. He just was trying to do this thing like, okay, I got him figured out. You're not going to figure out Alexander Usyk. This is Alexander Usyk. <clears throat> Alexander Usyk is a hyper fighter, very talented hyper boxer slash uh, fighter, okay? Because he can fight too. He's just a better fighter, but mentally he tires you out through his constant movement, okay? And by the time eighth and ninth round, and he's been already able to hit you, it's just going to be more of it, and he's going to keep applying the pressure, but see, this is a different thing. This is him. You have to think about a lot of other things because I'm going to go live right after this, okay? So stay tuned because I have a lot more to discuss concerning, you know, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. But that shows you, well, well how much of that do you put on the team? Because see, if the team had a game plan for Anthony Joshua and then we've heard Anthony Joshua say, you have to ask my team about that. Okay, well, if we have to ask your team, brother, what did your team have for you? Because you just admitted you tried to outbox them, so that was your game plan. So the question is, what really was your team's game plan? And if that's the case, should you blame them? Counterpunch. You know what I mean? So if like, because if that's a choice that you chose to make because you didn't like what Tyson Fury said about you. That's showing thin skin and everything else I said at the beginning. Okay, so him 
giving in or trying to prove a point to a rival will go wrong each and every time. Anthony Joshua had the best mindset when he fought Andy Ruiz. What was it? Just to win. Just like Floyd, um, Money Mayweather. Um, I'm in this to win. It doesn't matter if you win by inch or a mile. Winning's winning. <laughs> right? Doesn't care. As long as he won. Win, 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 right? So uh, that's what he needed to be worried about. But he's going to have to do a lot more to win, win, win. Okay? He's going to have to make a fusion. He's going to have to stop listening to people, especially rivals. Because Tyson Fury, what else is Tyson going to say? Right? You're not even expecting... You're not, you shouldn't, you, you shouldn't expect Tyson Fury to say something good about you, especially when going into a fight like that, especially when talking about your boxing ability, especially if he feels that he's better, uh, than a, a better boxer than you. So why are you worried? But anyway, <laughs> I was just sharing you this, um, newfound info from Anthony Joshua to re reveal that Tyson Fury was the guy that made him switch up his whole damn game plan in order to fight Alexander Usyk. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.